This is a powerful narration. Ibn Umar radiallahu on one day, he came outside and while he was walking, he saw that everyone had gathered. So he asked them, what's going on? They said, there's a lion in the road. There's a wild cat there. People are being cautious. People are trying to wait it out to see what happens next. So Ibn Umar radiallahu an dismounted and he went to the lion and literally held it by the ear. He held the lion and pulled it aside. People are shocked. What? What is this guy doing? Does he not have any fear? And then he said, I heard the Prophet of Allah saying that had the son of Adam not feared anyone other than Allah, no one would overcome the insan. It's that we have started fearing others, that's why their fear has entered into our hearts. This applies to jinn as well. The Muslims are very terrified of jinn. There's no need to be afraid of them. Allah gave you honor. There's no need to be afraid of any animal, any creation. You have this like six foot dude who weighs like 200 pounds and he's terrified of a cockroach. God created you superior. Have some dignity. You're jumping in the air like a young child by the passing of a small mouse. What happened to the insan? The statement of Ibn Umar radiallahu anh is quite profound. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the human being honor over all. That you don't fear anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ever seen someone fearless just approach a lion or a wild animal and control it? Have you guys ever seen that? I've seen it. It's crazy. I was in Zambia. We were literally in the bush, like we were in the jungle. And so this guy's driving me and he literally chopped the top part of his car off. So it's open. And as we're driving, we're passing by. I saw this with my own eyes. We're driving past hyenas. We're driving past giraffes, going past so many rhinos just sitting on the side of the bank, passing by like bulls and buffaloes and all the animals. Then we're passing by one area. He said, this area is known for cheetahs and lions. We saw them. There was a group of female lions by the side. And this dude's getting closer. I'm telling him, you know, Ismail, why don't you slow down a little bit? We don't need to go that close. My camera has a zoom in feature. We don't need to go any closer. Mufti Saab, you don't need to be afraid of anything. I'm here. I said, aren't you afraid? He said, no. I said, what would you do if that lion from there pounced on us? Because there's nothing on top of us. There's no security, no safety. What would you do right now if that lion right there jumps on us? This man holds up his big light that he's holding in his hand because I'd hit it with this. Not afraid at all, man. That didn't increase my confidence in him, but I definitely saw what confidence was. The guy's not afraid. And it's not false confidence either. It's a state. These people are not afraid. You look at the, like, you know, in Afghanistan, these people are not afraid of tanks. They're not afraid of jets. They're tough. They're really tough people. They look at the enemy and they say, you should be afraid of me, not the other way around. If the son of Adam did not fear anyone other than Allah, nothing else would overcome him.